Over the last couple of years, there's been this common theme in my life where I'll open Snapchat and instantly be pissed. And you know why? Spotlight comments. Now if you've never heard of Spotlight, it's probably because you've never been on Snapchat, and it should honestly stay that way. But essentially, it is Snapchat's response to TikTok. And I gotta be honest, it is just a complete shit show. Of course, while the videos are usually not really that bad, and they're pretty much just reposts from either TikTok or YouTube, the comments are absolutely abysmal. Although, before we get started in this fucking nightmare simulation, I will say that uh, a lot of the comments on Snapchat Spotlight are from kids. So, for the sake of this video, I am going to be critiquing comments that I think are from logically thinking adults. And one last thing before we get started. In order to bless your life with these comments, I will have to show the video that they are on. They, of course, since it's on Snapchat and it's pretty much repost, there's no credit whatsoever. So I will do my best to try and find the original videos and then link them in the description below. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Woo! Can Mommy do it? Yeah! 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 So in this extremely wholesome video, we have a family obviously having a really good time with each other. Memories are being made, and most of the comments agree. You know, most of the comments pay attention to that. Except this one. Old Jesse here focusing on the biggest battle in the room, saying, Ain't it weird how they got a camera in the son's room? And Gus replying, Yes. Now perhaps Jesse has <laughs> never heard of home security or anything like that, or maybe he thinks that the parent is a CIA agent. I, who the hell knows? But all I know is that that is somehow Jesse's first thought when he sees the video, and that is very interesting. And even then, let's entertain, for, for Jesse's sake, let's entertain what's going on in that big brain of his and say that, oh, maybe the parent is spying on the kid. When in reality, I mean, the kids are very young, you could tell in the video, that should not be a problem whatsoever. And even then, given how young the kids are in the video, there's no way the parents are spying on them. And especially considering how great the parents look in their video, I'm assuming they're phenomenal parents. I don't know where Jesse got this idea. It, it is actually crazy. He's just trying to use his giga brain. Maybe he's unlocked like 300% of his brain power and he's just trying to flex it on all of us. Now in this video we have a who looks to be about an 18 or 17 year old kid who is getting visibly upset uh, every time he comes up to a new house and there is actual trash mixed in with the compost because people don't know how to organize it or they're too lazy to. And I gotta be honest, I think he is rightfully upset because it's his job to get the trash and I mean he looks pretty good at his job but yet people's incompetence and laziness is preventing him from doing it correctly. So luckily enough, there's so many fucking stupid comments on this one that I didn't even have to crop anything. There's four in a row here. Connor asking, what about the blue bins? I would sue. Obviously, he did not pay attention to the caption that said that the consumers were supposed to be waste sorting. Below him, there's Cody Bass, who says, thanks for the name of the company. You'll be fired. Cody Bass, I'm, I'm sorry to spit it, bro, but I, I don't know. I don't know if the man will get fired. He's He looks like a young kid and... I don't even, yeah, good luck with that phone call. Underneath there, you got This Guy's a Knobhead by Windshield. That's quite an insult, a knobhead. I don't think I've seen that one in a while. And then Eggboy says, what is even the problem? Because Eggboy also did not read the fucking caption. But holy sweet mother of pearl. None of those first four could have prepared you for this next one. Wolf J Flywheel says, he should be thankful that he has a job in this economy. So let's just flame the kid for being upset at the fact that people don't follow the fucking rules. Very smart man there, uh, Wolf J Flywheel. He's using, he's using 400% of his brain power. He's, he's a lot smarter than Jesse, I'll tell you that. Guys, put your dog back on the leash. That's really dangerous. Don't worry, the guy's a G. Don't worry, he's a boss. Come on, come, come on, come here. They deal with wolves on a daily basis. Yeah. They get your dog's ass. Yeah, they'll, they'll stomp his don't worry, skull. Don't worry. He ain't no shit too like your dog, Bobby. No, like, I, like, they need to be educated. This video sets up for probably the worst comments that you will see in this video. Shockingly so, there are some good comments before we get to the bad ones. We have Steven at the top agreeing, saying people are honestly so stupid. Uh, John John saying, dog on leash, they look at dogs like they're wolves and will kill them. Adam Kessel says, ain't no educating them bro, they'll watch it get trampled and be wondering how this could have happened. Then Isaac saying, that's not fair to the dog, the owners are bad, not the dog. Obviously very true. 
but Sunny Park and Dustin are in here to fuck shit up, and that's well, all they're good for, I guess. Sunny Park saying, mind your own business. I don't really understand the rationale behind that. And then Dustin saying, shut up, Karen. Talking about the woman who mentioned that they needed to be educated. You're probably just as confused as I am at these responses. Sunny Park saying, mind your own business. First off, he's not the only one that said that. There's like seven or eight other fucking people that said, mind your own business. Like, he, they're trying to help. They're trying to save your dog from getting fucked up by an elk. And then Dustin says, shut up, Karen. There's no way you're saying shut up, Karen. Uh, maybe he is referring to the dog's owner. I highly fucking doubt it because there's a lot of people that don't like the woman that says he has to be educated or they have to be educated when they clearly do. Their dog is going to fucking die. They're just trying to be good people and help them save what could possibly be their dog and, and them getting severely injured or killed. Now, in order to refrain from ending on a negative note, this one is quite interesting. Basically, it's this video, they're, these dudes are all wasted playing pool, and they just keep missing, like, the easiest shots ever. I think it was viral on TikTok, like, a year ago or so. You may have seen it before, but the comment on this video is just insane. So, Yvonne starts it off by saying, why this low-key funny? And then, this dude with a cross emoji as his name says, you... <laughs> You're lucky, bro. You don't have an avatar. I am not mad, but maybe the basketball people are. Nothing racist, really. I like basketball people. Not like... Not like that, like, friends. And not that... <laughs> not that they are not pretty. They are very pretty, and I like them as friends. <laughs> Imnor Rocky? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is bro trying to say, man? He's... He's smart. He, this was... This is the guy using 500% of his brain power, actually. Like, the smartest one we've seen all day. So if none of those comments had you scratching your head, asking why the fuck did I have to be born into this terrible world, uh, then I'm sorry for wasting your time. But that's pretty much what they, you know, did to me. And so I thought I'd share. And, yeah. Peace out.